Hey, this is Class Creatives, and in this video, we'll discuss how one of the greatest visual effects characters of all time was created, and why he is still regarded as one of the most realistic digital performance-based CGI characters ever made. Even with today's updated software and technology, characters created by the best visual effects studios in the world still fall short of the realism and genuine performance of Davy Jones. Many of our students are often curious why some modern day CGI characters look worse than those created decades earlier, even if they were created by the same studio. We'll take a look at the creation process of some of the best and worst CGI characters, as well as the factors that contribute to their executional success and failure. In this video, we'll discuss how Davy Jones was created, and why he is still regarded as the greatest CGI villain of all time, and discuss the critical factors that brought a level of realism rarely achieved by his successors. We'll look at the onset motion capture pioneered by Bill Nye, which allowed for genuine interactions and nuanced performances. We'll explore how the director's experience directly impacted the production and how Davy Jones' emotional depth, meticulous animation, and cutting edge digital performance continue to captivate and astound audiences to this day. Davy Jones is often regarded as one of the best CGI characters of all time. Davy Jones was the first onset motion captured character where he had a special suit so he could be physically present on set with the rest of the cast. Versus other CG motion captured characters where their motion capture is done offset in a motion capture studio. The onset motion capture allowed actor Bill Nye to interact with other actors on set, making the character more realistic, and also provided more realistic interactions from actors on set with the CG character. Another big reason why Davy Jones works incredibly well is the realism that he brings in his emphasis of emotional depth over epic action oriented scenes. Instead the focus is on a relatable character with soggy wet skin and a living tentacle beard who is grappling with past mistakes. This emotional complexity is achieved through a combination of the actor's performance and advanced CGI techniques, which seamlessly blend to create a compelling and believable character. By utilizing onset motion capture technology, Actor Bill Nye was able to embody the character of Davy Jones with a sense of humanity. Unlike many CG villains who are primarily featured in action sequences, Jones' appearance are predominantly dialogue driven. This allowed Nye to focus on the character's emotional nuances, reactions, and interactions, transforming Jones into a believable and relatable figure. This also allowed the animators and artists to primarily spend their time and efforts crafting genuine, natural, living, breathing human characteristics, like the eyes, the mouth, and minute details in his eyebrows, rather than spending hundreds of hours on blockbuster superhuman action fight sequences. Visual effects studios might lead you to believe that any great actor with state-of-the-art motion capture sets and modern technology will give you the most realistic CGI character. But the truth is, even the best actor in the world needs technical mastery to bring their digital character to life. You might assume that ILM simply recorded Bill Nye's face and mapped it directly onto Davy Jones' digital double, making it extremely realistic. But in reality, the motion capture data is far from realistic enough to capture the subtleties of the human face delivering relatable human emotion. It's actually just a starting point. Animators spend countless hours refining and perfecting every nuance of the performance. Executives love to market the technology by downplaying this painstaking process. Studios can create the illusion that CGI characters are effortlessly realistic, shielding themselves from criticism around the sheer thousands of hours it takes animators to bring the most authentic CGI-based characters to life. Animators play a pivotal role in the movements to a CGI character's realism. However, the technical factors play an equal if not even more important role to how believable the character appears alongside the actors. For Davy Jones, the visual effects artist did everything possible to hide as much skin from the audience. Skin is incredibly complex, and replicating its subtle movements in CG is a huge challenge, even with today's modern technology. The more skin you show, the more of these details you have to get right, and the higher probability that the character will lose its realism, and even worse feel dated as the film ages over time as technology advances. Therefore, if you have a character that has their skin heavily exposed, such as Thanos or Azog the Defiler from The Hobbit, the artists and animators must meticulously detail every skin response to maintain the hyper-realism. However, for a character like Davy Jones, they hid his entire body and the top of his head under multiple layers of CGI clothing, leaving the artists and animators much more time to focus on the crucial facial area, 
allowing much needed additional production time to refine higher levels of detail and emotional expressions in the exposed facial areas. You might wonder when you see bad or less impressive CGI characters what happened, or how could such an incredible studio and team of artists create a miss with today's technology. Decisions made by the director can have a major impact on the quality of the visual effects and the timelines of production, which can directly impact how realistic and successful a CG-based character is on the screen. Gore Verbinski came from a visual effects background, working in visual effects for many years, prior to making the Pirates of the Caribbean film franchises. And so he had a great sense of the limits of CGI, and what to do and not to do with it, and how to tie all the elements together to make a great looking CG character. So together with the director's extensive visual effects experience, tied with understanding timeframes needed to create amazing CG based character performances, Davy Jones is the perfect example of creating a seamless CGI character. Many artists who worked on Davy Jones with Gore Verbinski emphasized the laborious nature of Davy Jones CGI, and although Gore Verbinski was very proud of the results, he still wasn't fond of how difficult and time-consuming the visual effects process was. So even the most experienced directors have to live with the reality of how long the process of great CGI takes in production. A well-crafted CG character isn't just about the performance or technology. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. We'll help you take your 3D and 2D art to the next level. Learn from industry professionals with experience teaching at accredited universities. Land that new job, receive higher pay, and stand out from the competition. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. Let's take a closer look at the villain Azog for instance, where many often wonder why the character was CG. Contrasting the original Lord of the Rings orcs, all practical effects which were stunning. Again it comes down to the director and most importantly time for the art to be made properly and understanding all the limitations of the technology. Initially Azog was to be albino and was designed and shot to be a prosthetic real orc. Countless designs, research, and thought was put into the conception of the character. They even cast a massive actor named Conan to play the orc. However, after test footage, Peter Jackson and the crew decided that the prosthetic orc had odd proportions, did not appear to be scary, and the concept was changed to another older styled orc with another actor, which also deemed to be another failure to Peter Jackson's vision. While being in the middle of production, Peter Jackson decided that they would replace all of the shots with a digital creature. The artist then had two weeks to make Azog in 3D, place him in the live action shots utilizing stage motion capture. This definitely is not enough time to create a polished, naturally aesthetically pleasing CG based character. The production time, the style of motion capture, and most importantly there not being a real definitive reason for him being a full CG character other than the fact he was 9 feet tall, pale in comparison to the character of Davy Jones, who fully takes advantage of his CG abilities such as dramatically playing an organ with his beard of tentacles, and all the nuanced character animation that comes along with that, hiding a key in his tentacle beard as part of the narrative, and even using them to murder his adversaries. These are the kinds of techniques and imaginative moments that CGI enables, and allow the filmmakers to create something truly original and captivating, while justifying the use of CG technology. The director plays a pivotal role in the visual effects team's ability to craft a timeless, believable CG character. A key detail that also adds to the realism of the character is the height difference between Davy Jones and his actor Bill Nye. Modern CGI allows for characters to be any height. But this often leads to actors performing on awkward rigs to compensate, resulting in unnatural movements and postures along with more additional time needed for animators to adjust the performance capture to create a compelling, genuine, believable performance. Nye, however, stands at a height similar to Jones, adding a layer of authenticity that's hard to replicate with other CGI characters. The beard not only served as a unique character design choice, but by covering Jones' lower face, the visual effects team could maintain a balance between human-like features and photorealism. If Jones did not have his beard, we would see his chin and his neck, which would mean that the visual effects artist would have to account for all the tiny muscles anytime he spoke or breathed, and he would also start to look closer and closer to a real human. By keeping Jones far enough from a relatable human entity, the audience relates him less to a real human and prevents him from entering uncanny valley territory, 
which is a phenomenon where the more realistic human-like creation becomes, the more unsettling it appears to us. Our brains are wired to detect subtle imperfections, and when something is almost but not quite human, it triggers a sense of unease. This concept is why Jones' technical beard works so well. Our brains can't quite process him as a normal human, so we accept the idea that he is something otherworldly. It's a very clever way the director bypassed our critical eye for realism to make him more readily accepted as a real character. The complexity of a character's skin can make or break the on-screen realism. Davy Jones' realistic appearance is largely due to the masterful use of lighting. Jones is shown in two types of lighting conditions, the intense harsh Caribbean sun or shrouded in shadowy nighttime, both of which favor his design with reflective constantly wet skin. The director's clever use of light and shadow create a visual illusion making Jones seem more real than he actually is on screen. The dark lighting is perfect for a CG based character and the bright daylight naturally blends with the reflective elements of his skin. Subsurface scattering is what gives skin its realistic, milky appearance so that when light hits skin, it penetrates and scatters beneath the surface before reflecting back out. This complex process is difficult to simulate, especially with older technology, making them appear unrealistic and rubbery. As computing power has increased, so has the ability to accurately replicate subsurface scattering resulting in more lifelike digital characters. So if the skin is covered in a reflective surface like water, this would bounce away excess light, reducing the need for diffusion effects that as a result make characters look sweaty, as seen with CGI Tarkin. So with Davy Jones and his constantly wet skin, he can perfectly take advantage of this reflectivity, significantly enhancing his visual realism compared to other CGI characters. All of these elements, along with real stunts, explosions, practical sets, and miniatures, all accumulate to make a much more real and engaging film experience that could have very easily gotten lost if these films incorporated too much CGI. Well that about wraps up this video on how Davy Jones is regarded as one of the greatest computer generated characters of all time. Gore Verbinski and the visual effects team nailed the lighting, skin, and clothing placing him on a level above many modern CGI characters that miss the bar of visual perfection. Big budget visual effects films are pushing the boundaries of modern CGI possibilities, but ultimately it still comes down to the creativity of the director, the limitations of technology, budget, and time constraints of the 3D artist's tight deadlines to bring perfectly crafted characters such as Davy Jones to life. So what do you think, have there been any CG characters that have surpassed Davy Jones? Let us know your thoughts on why some CG characters succeed while others have failed in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.